and we're back in the mechanical room so we got this water source heat pump so this is an interesting setup basically we have municipal water coming in and then it goes straight to the drain total waste of water but yeah that's how this one works there's no boiler there's no cooling tower very strange to me so whatever the temperature of the water coming in is what it is so anyway this guy's not working it's not heating so we'll see what's going on so here we go That should be heating. It's set to heat right now. It should be heating. I've got nothing. That's a return 70. It's not circulating air. So let's check the back of this, see if we have power. So I've taken the batteries out. There is a common. It's not kicking on, so we don't have 24 volts. Let's go see what's up. Confirmed I got no low voltage here. So now we need to see if we have high voltage. This is our line in coming in here. Nope, nothing. So let's see what's going on. All right. Let's see, you thir so it's on 13 and 15. 13 and 15. It's tripped. I think. Yep, it's tripped. trip all right let's see what's up okay so i'm just doing a quick visual inspection looks like this compressor has been changed before you can tell because it's the you know it's the the black and gray thing now i'm smelling something now check this out um, this is why you always want to do a visual inspection before you get crazy check out this front cap it's touching metal that may have short caused a short have been our issue because you can see it's burnt so hopefully it didn't damage nothing and uh yeah looks like this is a little little messed up so we'll probably fix that and then we need to mount this better all right so i'm gonna just make sure that it's still good yeah it is all right got our new ends on there so we'll make a new mount a better mount so it won't fall off again and then we'll go from there all right, we got that all nice and tightened up. We got that fixed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what happens now. All right, fire in the hole. All right. All right, our fan just kicked on. And we didn't pop the breaker, so that may have just been our issue. So when you're changing rim caps, and that, I'm sure you saw the date on there. Uh, that was, that was almost a little longer, almost a little longer than a month ago. So just make sure if you're changing a run cap, make sure it's secure. Um, because that thing was just loose. I ended up having to take the side panel off and tighten that strap. So uh, yeah, we should be good. So we're gonna make sure everything else works and we'll go from there. So it's good. Go ahead and put this panel back on. All right, so compressor just kicked on right now. Start amps 54. Run amps is 12.3 ish. Discharge temperature 87.7 and rising. So, yeah, we lucked out. It looks like it was just an easy short. So, sometimes you can catch things without even having to pull out your meter. Uh, just always do a visual inspection first. Sometimes you can just catch something and then you can verify it with your meter. Go ahead and check this filter. Yeah, looks good to me. Yeah, brand new. So that one ended up being pretty easy. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, whenever you're dealing with a tripped breaker, always use your eyes first before you pull out your meter. Because sometimes you just see it right away. You save yourself a bunch of time. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools that I'm using, get them from my store on Amazon. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.
Yes.